Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. He's holding the box of Key Forge Age of Ascension because it's time to dive into one of oh sorry Draco. It's time to dive into one of these again with a deck review. And let's check it out and see what we can find in here. And we have Sanctum, Logos, and Untamed. That sounds pretty good. I would like to find you know these shadows, the rats that everybody's talking about these days. A bunch of rats you can get in shadows. I haven't seen those yet in a bunch of you know decks open, but so we have Paxu Warmer D Bridges Drone. Kind of weird name. They usually are. So let's zoom in here to get some focus here on the actual card. Let's see if that's too much, maybe. Yeah, I think it's too much. Let's do it like this. And we start off with mm, okay, so this is a I don't think I've seen this before. This is Untamed Punctuated Equilibrium. Play. Each player discards their hand, then refills their hand as if it were the end of their turn. Ooh. So that means that this is like one of the last cards we play. We get six more cards and our opponent that, you know, midway this could be really good. Um, a lot of times people sit around and holding on to some important cards they have. So like half in, halfway into the game making your opponent discard their hand and draw a new one, that could be really cool. I like it. Chota has three, three power. Play, lose an amber. If you do, you may forge a key at current cost. This is a good key steal, as it's called. Camouflage, it's an upgrade. Free amber, creatures not on a flank cannot fight this creature. So this is a good way to protect someone. And another one, like that. Song of Spring. Free Amber, play, shuffle any number of friendly untamed creatures from your hand, discord pile, or battle line back into your deck. Oh, this is good. This is really good. We can get Shota back, maybe, or someone else. And two of those, okay. A lot of rotation in the deck. Save the pack, play, destroy each damage creature, gain a chain. This could be a good way to just, you know, lifesaver. And regrowth, free Amber, play, return a creature from your discord pile to your hand. So another way to return creatures basically and Nox three power Nox gets plus three power for each neighbor it has this is cool this guy can be a nine if he has two neighbors grow keeper three power at the end of your turn give each neighboring creature a plus one power counter so this is a way to boost you know just passively boost someone having him next to Nox good combo there Full Moon, play for the remainder of the turn, gain an Amber each time you play a creature. So, let's hope we have a bunch of creatures in Untamed here. Darna, 2 power, play, gain 1 Amber for each damage friendly creature. Reap, heal 2 damage from a friendly creature. She's, she's pretty good. And that's it, so... Only 4 creatures, not that exciting with Full Moon, but... Then we go into Sanctum, so we have Proclamation 346E. This is a rare, I haven't seen this before. And it's actually a law, <laughs> an artifact that is a law. While your opponent does not control creatures from three different houses, their keys cost plus two. That's a fun law to have. So having this one, you can just make sure, trying to kill off and so on, make sure that your opponent doesn't have creatures from three different houses. That's a really cool one. I like that. Potion of Invulnerability, Free Amber, Omni. Sacrifice it, and for the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. That's, that's a good one to have. Gatekeeper, 5 power, 1 armor. Play if your opponent has 7 or more amber. Capture all but 5 of it. I like that, that's a way to stop a key. And speaking of stopping keys, one of my favorite cards in the game, Doorstep to Heaven. Free amber, play each player with 6 amber or more is reduced to 5. This is so good. This is like one of the best amber control these days because in, in uh, the new set, Age of Ascension, there's not that much steel and so on from what I've seen. Baron Mengevin, 6 power, 1 armor. After you discard a Sanctum card from your hand, Baron Mengevin captures one. Oh, <laughs> more amber control, I like it. Really cool, I don't think I have seen him before either. Smite, play a radiant fight with a friendly creature. Deal 2 damage to the attacked creature's neighbors. So yeah, that's good. Two of those. And Hallowed Shield, the artifact that has the action, choose a creature. For the range of the turn, the chosen creature cannot be dealt damage. So yeah, it goes, goes well together with like this guy, a six power guy. You know, can make sure that you can kill off some stuff. And Golden Aura. 
Play, choose a creature, fully heal the chosen creature. For the remainder of the turn, the chosen creature is considered to be in house sanctum and cannot be dealt damage. This is an awesome card. Wow, this is so good. You can get to fight with someone outside of your house and that creature cannot take damage for that. Uh, that's just amazing. And two of those, wow. Oh, I'm happy for that. And Blinding Light is a good one as well. Free Amber, play, choose a house, stun each creature of that house. That's a good one. And Obey the Grim, for power, one armor, play, capture three amber, reap, discard an amber from Obey the Grim. So this is a fun guy to just, you know, destroy amber, basically. So, only three creatures, but they're all pretty good, I th would say. I um, think the the actions in here are really good, so let's, let's talk a bit more about that later on. But now let's head into the logos with Strange Gizmo, free amber. And, and it's an artifact after your fortune key, destroy each creature and artifact. Yeah, I guess could could be good. Hard to say without playing this deck. Fetch drones, this is new for me, an artifact. Action, discard the top two cards of your deck. For each Logos card discarded this way, a friendly creature captures two. Wow, that's even more amber control. I like that, more amber control in this deck. And director of six, three power elusive. At the start of your turn, archive the top card of your deck. Wow, haven't seen him before either. And this is a, another way to archiving cards. I mean, we have the one that gets destroyed and he archives, and the one that archives at the end of the turn if he's not on the flank. This is a new way for me to archiving at the start of your turn. Wow, nice. Bouncing Death Quark, play. Destroy an enemy creature and a friendly creature. You may repeat this effect as many times as you like, as long as it's possible to repeat the entire effect. Could be good, so board might be. And two of those, wow, that might be overkill, but. Sysix Researcher, two power, play, archive the top card of your deck or the top card of your discard pile. I like this one that you can, you can archive from discard pile. And two of those, nice. Library of Babel, action, draw a card, an artifact, good as well. And lab work, free amber, play, archive a card. So a lot of archiving going on. And the Binate Rupture, this is a tricky one. Alpha, play, each player gains amber equal to the amber in their pool. You double your amber and your opponents. So you can't play this one if your opponent has three or more amber, basically, unless you have some other ways to, of course, you know, control the amber. But yeah, could be good. Some, I mean, at some point I will find a way to use this as well. And Archimedes, two power elusive. When his neighbors are destroyed, they become archived as well. And two of those, so... Okay, let's zoom out and let's talk about this. I'm... Hmm... So... I mean... We can archive... A bunch. <laughs> and we can... You know, yeah. That's that's basically everything that those cards will do for us. Uh, archiving, drawing cards, board wiping... Control, do like that. And Strange Gizmo... Oh, Board wiping as well. Does destroy all the artifacts as well when you make a key. So if you already have this one out, you don't want to, mm, yeah, could be tricky. In Sanctum, we had some really good action cards, I think. The artifact there, some direct damage. Love this one. Or, you know, potion here. This is fun. Really good artifact. You don't want to destroy that. So mm, that strange gizmo might be just a discard basically for us. And just three creatures though, so what was it? Three, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve. Wow, twelve creatures in this deck. That is a really low count, especially for Age of Ascension, I think. So, I mean, this guy needs neighbors. <laughs> um, Shota Hasbro is pretty good here, if we can. But then again, we need to make the amber, right? So, well, we can do that with regrowth, full moon, maybe. These make amber, of course, and the camouflage. Hmm, and this is a really fun card. Really, I look forward to trying this one out in a game. So yeah, for overall, hard to say, very low on creatures. Not sure how that's gonna work out, but we'll try it out and you know tell me what you think in the comment section down here Do you think this deck could work out and tell me if there's any combos that I'm missing here? So thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye. Bye Breathe in Look into these eyes 
subscribe to the channel. Now, exhale.